Blog Talk Radio. Across the country and around the world, streaming live on the internet, it's Real Estate Coaching Radio, bringing you the latest news, interviews, and secrets of the top producers. Hosted by award-winning real estate coaches, Tim and Julie Harris. Welcome back to Real Estate Coaching Radio, your source for unfiltered, full-strength honesty about what is truly working to get you into action and make money in this new real estate boom. And everyone, please listen and be very clear about this. We are at the very beginning stages of what will be an honest-to-God 7- to 10-year real estate boom. It's going to start out slow. It's going to start out just like it is, where people are saying, is it a boom, isn't it a boom? And then a year or two from now, people are going to say, yep, it's a boom. Don't wait and for, for everyone to tell you that it's a boom, because I'm telling you now. So get ahead of the curve and do whatever it takes to get you into action. Julie, welcome to today's radio show. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. So we have both been on coaching calls all day, and I have to say, a lot of these calls that I'm having are a hell of a lot of fun, because <laughs> <laughs> these guys are saying, I'm making more money now, I have more opportunities, I'm getting more, they're having organizational issues, they're having overwhelm issues with the amount of money they're making, the amount of opportunities they have, they're having, oh my gosh, how am I going to balance this issues, guys, these are all nice, nice problems, problems to have. have. <laughs> yes, Exactly. <laughs> Totally different problems than you had, say, 24 or 36 months ago. Make the most of this opportunity, guys. Don't let this get by you. Don't become complacent. Take action. Keep your head screwed on straight. So, Julie, I know on your coaching calls, because I listened in on a couple of them, you were having Mm -hmm. issues with your clients. Your clients were having those types of challenges. For someone that is having an overwhelm issue, which is normal this time of year in a real estate recovery, what are you telling them? Well, I think the first thing is to realize when your mindset is, oh, my gosh, I'm overwhelmed, you have to immediately reset it to say, I am surrounded by so much opportunity, to to actually call it what it is. Agents who are, quote, overwhelmed are generally making money, aren't they? Yeah, it's true. Okay, so that's well, a good sometimes, thing. Sometimes, Julie, do, don't you see that <laughs> sometimes people say overwhelmed as an excuse? And this is what my fear is, especially mm-hmm. with my personal coaching clients. When I hear that coming mm-hmm. out of their mouth, what yep. my, my mind immediately goes to is this person trying to create an excuse to yep, be complacent. to stop doing lead follow-up, et cetera. Yeah. Exactly. And it typically oh. happens when they have a lot in contract. They just wrote a bunch of contracts. And now I've got to go yep. take care of that, and I feel overwhelmed. So what's the first thing that gets missed out on? Lead follow-up, well, prospecting, lead generation, anything having to do with that. And then what do you have as a result? You have these really vicious, unhealthy spikes of your in your income where you go mm-hmm. from not just cash, you know, you go to cash spurt as opposed to cash flow. And as right. a result of that, you're never out of debt. As a result of that, you're always, you know, behind the eight ball. You have a great month where you feel like you're on top of the world, followed by a crappy month. Guys, it mm-hmm. all happens because you're not looking at this business as a business. You're just looking at this as a fleeting opportunity. If you were to actually take your mindset, kind of shake it up like a magic mm-hmm. eight ball, what would show on the screen? Would it show temporary opportunity or would it show long-term wealth-building opportunity? What would it show for in your mindset? Would it actually be something that you've committed to long-term as your career, as the thing you're going to do to actually create long-term financial freedom, or would it just be something you're just thinking of as a quick way to make some bucks until something Mm -hmm. better comes along? Because if you were to actually embrace this for the incredible opportunity that it is, and being a realtor is not only an incredible business opportunity, but it's also a huge honor. If you Mm -hmm. were to actually embrace it with that mindset, how different would your actions be every single day? It starts with that thinking. It starts with being Mm -hmm. of service. It starts with realizing that you're a business owner. It starts with realizing that you can make the most of this business in this new real estate boom if you choose to. And you know what? Mm -hmm. You could also choose not to. It's up to you. You could just make this a continuation of the ups and downs that you've been experiencing during the real estate crash and now the slow build as the market pulls itself out. Up to you. What do you do Mm -hmm. if you don't know what to do? You request a free coaching call. And go to freecoachingcallsforagents.com. And it really is a free coaching call. There is no place to put in a credit card. There are no strings attached. Freecoachingcallsforagents.com. So, Julie, the topic of today's radio show 
are really, it's all about lead generation. So this is lead generation day. And we're going to be focusing on, we have some specific things written down, some of which you guys are familiar with, others which you might not be. And yes, some of these are going to be lead generation websites. I've written down a list of websites that you guys could uh, get leads from. Because the simple fact is, is that it all starts the lead, right? And then knowing what to say, what questions to ask, how to be of service to that person, to determine whether or not they actually are going to be someone that's going to do a real estate transaction with you. And then after that, for a lot of you, it's easy, right? You know what to do. You are naturally good at working with people. Most of you are uh, people, people as by definition. And then you're in the flow of things. But it all starts at the top of the funnel. We recognize that. There are dozens and dozens and dozens of proven ways to create leads. And so we're going to present to you a list of, I think, as many we can get through, Julie, probably 25. Maybe mm-hmm. we'll get through five or ten sure. today. And mm-hmm. they're all going to start with the familiar and the affordable, and then we're going to go to the things that actually maybe you have to spend some money on. So have an open mind. Get ready to take notes. And we will not be repeating any of these, especially when you go to the website. So get ready to take notes. We're going to take a quick break while Julie and I go make some green tea. And we'll be back in about a minute. Is coaching right for you? And how can I guarantee it will work for me? Chances are you are asking yourself those questions right now. I'll answer those critical questions for you in just a moment. But first, let's be honest about something you may have always suspected. You've probably always known that the nation's top 1% of realtors, you know, those millionaire agents you see on TV, they possess a secret knowledge that the other 99% of agents do not have. Where did they learn what they know? And more importantly, how did they learn how to put this closely guarded information into money-making action? It's simple. They have a coach. Not just any coach. The nation's mega millions, top 1% of the realtors know that in order to maintain their almost unfair advantage, that they must have their own personal coach, a proven, market-tested coach who has truly walked in their shoes, a coach who has worked with many of the nation's leading agents. At this point, you're probably ready to maybe try coaching. However, you don't want to be unfairly locked into a long-term ball and chain that coaching contracts can give you. It just makes sense that you should be able to try it before you buy it. Even more importantly, you want to have a coach who is the best of the best, not someone who is simply assigned to you or, even worse, has never sold real estate. Can you imagine? If this is you, I have something for you right now that is exactly what you have been looking for. For the next 48 hours, Tim and Julie Harris Real Estate Coaching is offering you a free coaching call. This is a real coaching call with a real Tim and Julie Harris coach. Now, while you are thinking about it, why don't you visit us online at freecoachingcallsforagents.com to get started. Once again, that is freecoachingcallsforagents.com. Now, let's be clear. This exclusive coaching opportunity is only available for the first 50 realtors who are stone cold serious about their real estate business and know that in order to succeed at the highest level, they must hire a coach. So don't wait any longer. Take action now and visit us again at freecoachingcallsforagents.com to schedule your free coaching call. Again, that's free coaching calls for agents.com. Thanks so much. See you all soon. All right, we're going to jump right in. We've got a lot of ground to cover. So, Julie, the first, and let's start with the uh, free mm-hmm. and maybe easy, and let's work our way up to the things that are going to cost them money. Sure. So, let's assume that most of the guys listening today are starting with a low budget and they want to make money now. So, hit it. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to use a real-world example, which proves the point from an actual real-world coaching call today. And this is almost free, darn close to it, and something that each and every one of you can handle. Okay, so this is uh, the technique. Not just open houses, which everybody can do, and I don't really care what your mindset is about open houses. If you have a poor mindset about it, it's because you have not yet learned how to do it correctly. 
one of the ways to do this, real world scenario, okay? Prior to your open house, which should be anywhere from a first time buyer house to a move up house, not too expensive and not gated. And we've done calls about how to monetize open houses, so I won't elaborate on that. Let's say that you've chosen the right one. Okay, so prior to that, let's say your open is on Saturday or Sunday. On the Thursday or Friday preceding that, you are going to door knock the neighborhood with a simple flyer saying open to neighbors and friends between 12 and 1, open to the general public between 1 and 4. All right, so you can also turn this into a postcard. You can pre-send it. I'm going cheap or free first, so we're just going to do a simple flyer. All right, so my one of my coaching clients in Las Vegas did this, was a little bit skeptical about it, has been a little bit anti-open house, but he was coachable and did it last weekend. Not only did he sell the house that he sold, that he held open to his own buyer, who he met at the open house, but he also picked up a listing which will be signed tonight. Why? Because he sent, I think he sent 100 through the mail as a letter, and then he door knocked for a couple of hours on the Thursday prior to the open. So in the space of one week, he immediately sold his listing, picked up a new listing, and picked up a new buyer. That Cheap and awesome. free and easy enough. <laughs> yeah, well, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tail end on that one, and I apologize because we don't like to do that. But um, after the open house, the folks that, obviously the neighbors that came to the open house, knock on those same doors again. Let them know that you have buyers that you've generated as a result of the open house. And, and ask the way, them directly, it. right, if, especially if you sold it, and ask them directly if they or anyone they know is thinking about buying or selling real estate, Okay. So guys, not just the open house, not just what happens before the open house, but it's what happens after the open house. These contacts, as, and some of you are going to have ego issues with knocking on doors. Some of you are going to have mindset issues about what to say or how to say it. These are the easiest kinds of contacts to make because it's mostly just social stuff. It's easy. There's no fancy script here. It's an easy process. Next, Julie. Well, so the interesting thing before the next point is that Walter actually – had that uh, feedback. He said, you know, this is the first time in my career that I've actually done the basic stuff that I've always known works, which is always that's an interesting amazing. comment coming from somebody that's been in the business for a while, right? It's almost like you discount the basic stuff, and yet it, it, the basic stuff is called the basics because it works. By the way, Julie, I, I've really worried and thought and, you know, drilled down on that word basics because it's so overused. I think right. I finally figured out what when people say I'm getting back to the basics, do you know what that actually means? What? Doing I'm going to start doing my along. job again. I'm going to start doing my yeah. job again, right? Exactly. When you guys say I'm getting back to the basics, what you're really saying is you're going to start doing your job again, and you're going to gonna get in front of customers. That's what it is. Whenever you hear mm -hmm. I'm getting back to the basics, you know, as your coach, I'm translating that as I'm actually going to put myself in front of potential buyers and sellers. Is that really what a – yeah, that is a basic aspect of real estate. But why did you get away from that in the first place? Isn't that what you get paid for at the end of the hmm. day? Hmm. Curious. <laughs> All right, so next, Jules. Okay, speaking of back to the basics, my next one is my favorite one, expired listings, which we talk about quite a bit on this radio show, but there's a reason for that. This is the low-hanging fruit. These are people who have said not only do I have a house I'd like to sell – but I'm also willing to actually list it. Now, why do, they, why do expireds happen in your market? It's almost always priced, but the next question is, why was it overpriced? Agent error, seller pricing, lack of motivation, lack of timing? It's your job to find market out. Market change, the market change, which it is in a lot of your markets. And here's a little heads up, and Julie, let's, so we can cover more ground, let's get ready to get to the next point. Got it. Heads up, mm -hmm. guys. Last day of the month of May coming up this week. First day of June coming up this week. A lot of people are taking this week off. It's their spring vacation or thereabouts. The reality of it is, is right now, this time of year, this week is arguably maybe the first or the second best week of the entire year to go after expireds. The other one would arguably be between, the time between Christmas and New Year's for the same reasons. Lots of expireds. Lots of folks home. Oh, and by the way, your competition's all at the beach. So the reality of it is right now is there are going to be more expireds in your marketplace than there are normally. Folks are going to be home, and your competition is not going to be prospecting them. That sounds like money to me. Do something about it. Next. 
All right, next is notice of default filings. Now, it depends on your market, your market conditions. If you are guessing at what your market conditions are, don't make a prejudgment of this category. NODs, norconmarketing.com, reisource.com. Some of you have title companies that can give you NOD listings. Lots of different ways to find them. Uh, Zillow pre-foreclosure, not hard to find NODs. You can call, door knock, email, postcard, etc. Again, this is a category of people who have to sell the house. It's either walk away or short sale for them. You know that they have to sell. Why do we go to these sources? Because it's a lot more efficient than just doing random mailings and hoping that that 1% pays off. So NODs. Now, some of you... Some of you have fallen into the incorrect mindset that there's not a lot of notice of defaults in your marketplace. Uh, Julie mentioned a whole bunch of different sources where you can go and get the list of notice of defaults. But you know what? You guys have to you know, make some effort. You're going to have to maybe talk, call the title or resto company. You're going to have to – there's tons of places online. Julie mentioned you can go on Zillow of all places. And if you remove all the filters uh, when you do the home search thing, put in your zip code, remove all the filters except for the – uh, make me move, except for the, I'd leave make me move up there, the notice of defaults or foreclosures, and then it's going to sh uh, show all the places in your community where all the owners are in default. Um, another little phenomenon, not so unusual, started happening a couple years ago, but it's certainly happening a lot more this year, is anybody with ho home equity that misses a single payment, even in states like California or New Jersey where the process has uh, typically been easy to drag out, you're seeing continuously that the banks are filing the foreclosure notice after the first missed payment when they even have a tinkling of equity. Why? Because the bank will lose less money than trying to pursue somebody who obviously has no equity or is hopelessly upside down. So when you're presenting to sellers, especially those who are marginally underwater, who are in notice of default territory or have already had their notice of default issued, you better make it clear to them that their window is not what it was two years ago or even 12 months ago. You miss a payment now for most of them, they're going to be booted out in less than 90 days, maybe 120 days, depending on your actual market. Next point, Jules. Next point. Very simple and oftentimes free, simple referrals. How often on a weekly basis are you actually asking for referrals? Now, there's different methods of doing this. We, of course, have the direct phone call from your past, to your past clients and centers of influence. We have a direct email. I remember, because Rochelle is right here, it so happens, that every time she would send an email out to her list of people she knew saying something simple like, I have set a goal of helping three more families with real estate buying or selling this month. Who do you know who could use my help? Every time she did that, she had at least one person say, hey, yes, either I have that need or I'm going to refer someone to you. She only did those deals because she asked. Uh, Michelle McClintock, one of our short sale coaches, she puts on Facebook on her page that she is basically the same script. I have set a goal of helping three more families this month. Who do you know who needs to buy or sell real estate? So that's relatively simple and, by the way, free. Good. Next is next. go ahead. No, I was going to say next. You beat me to it. Okay, <laughs> no problem. Okay, so the next is other agents in your office and possibly not in your office. Their overflow of buyer leads, their listing leads that are perhaps not in their wheelhouse, either in their area or in their price range. I remember our broker used to have a filter where he threw out I don't know he threw out a certain criteria into his trash can and he used to say. One more business, prospect my trash can, because he was very, very persnickety about who he wanted to work with. So other agents, that could be within our umbrella of coaching clients. We're having a lot of coaching client to coaching client direct referrals, so that's a possibility as well. But how often are you asking? Next is we have your local media. I have an agent in Chicago right now who has done a press release about how many people he's been able to help, and his press release is basically that he handles all different types of real estate, from first-time buyers to the luxury market to commercial deals. He is experienced at doing press releases, but they're not hard to figure out. We have some things through our coaching that we teach our clients. So basically, a press release is a well-written ad for you, and the local media typically is looking for stuff like that, and typically you're not going to spend any money on it. So next is, I'm going down my favorite list here, 
for sale by owners. And we just revamped and updated our for sale by owners script for the new market. Very appropriate, very direct. We talked a little bit about that on the on the uh, previous radio show. But again, we have someone who not only is saying I have a house to sell, but is handing you their phone number. Any thoughts on that, Tim? No, I mean, that's, yeah. I'm, you were saying about the new script. I was just thinking about how many of the students listening, because our radio show has obviously thousands of listeners now, are existing students. Are you guys using the new script? The old scripts, the problem was that they became less effective. I know it. We pay attention to it. So we updated all of our scripts. New market, uh, but more specifically, the consumer's attitudes and how you approach them has radically changed. Their attention spans are really short now. So you have to get right to the point and ask the most important questions right away. So existing coaching students, use our all-new, copyrighted, proven in every market and every price range for sale by owner scripts. We're in the midst, almost done. Julie, when will the new expired script be on the website? should be this evening. Perfect. Should and I'm going to do the audio evening. recording for it today mm -hmm. or tomorrow. So the new expired script, the same thing, all-new for this market, short to the point, very powerful and effective. And when you read the script and you guys understand how to ask the questions, you're going to see that it's easy, almost to the point where some of you who haven't picked up the phone before are going to be doubting how could it possibly be as effective as, it, as we are claiming it to be. Well, again, we tested it with literally thousands of different coaching students who are using it thousands of times who have been using it to great success. You know, Julie, I was thinking, a side note here, I wrote this down in my mm -hmm. notes. Um, I was going to share this idea with you after the radio show. But we have um, a survey that we're about to send out that's going to ask uh, essentially our students how many houses that they sold in the last 12 months. So, for example, from May 13 to May 14. And there was the NAR numbers that came out last week, and I published them on the website, that, you know, realestateinsidernews.com, that talked about how many um, homes the average agent sells per year. Well, I'm pretty darn sure that our average um, agent is selling at least 50% more, if not more, Now we have thousands of students. So you have to put mm -hmm. that in context. That's pretty impressive. And if you look at our top tier coaching students, the ones that are in our breakthrough coaching program, I bet you they're selling an average of 10, if not 20 times the number of homes per year as the average agent does in the country. But I thought it would be fun, considering how many students we have, to uh, actually mm -hmm. figure out how many houses all of them sold in the last 12 months and published that number because hmm, that like would that. be a gigantic number. Awesome. It would be tens of thousands of homes. So yeah. I'm going to figure that out. It's going to be one of my little pet oh, projects I love that. I'm going to work on. Yeah, because well, it really makes so a point, it, doesn't it? It totally does, and I'm sure that there are skeptics out there going, well, they must be working really, really hard. Well, one of our goals as coaches with our clients, yeah, in some cases you're going to work harder than you have before, more consistently than you have before. That's what it takes to earn the money that you haven't earned before. But we also have a goal of having you work a lot smarter versus necessarily harder. We want you to have a life. I always joke with my clients, I have goal, the goal is for you to be both rich and happy, not for you to be making tons of real estate and totally stressed out all the time. Oh, my gosh, right? We have you don't have to have shoes. that. You don't have to have that sacrifice, though. I mean, that's a really good point, Julie, you know. But that's getting away from our point, our, to yep. our, uh, our subject Back today. To and I have some written down if you want me to add some. Sure, shoot. Okay. All right, so write, everyone write these down. I'm going to blaze through these. I shared with these, these different websites with you guys last week, but I'm sharing them again. Now, the, I don't have any, and Jules and I, and our, no one in our company has any business relationship with any of these companies. The only reason I'm mentioning them is because our other coaching students have said they've used them and they like them. And they're, you know, Remember, one of the key tenets that we want all of you to understand is you can't just do one or even three things to generate your business. You have to have a lead generation wheel. And the analogy is, again, you know, if you imagine a bicycle wheel, in a bicycle wheel, if that only has one or two or three spokes, and that bicycle wheel is rolling down, imagine you on a bike with three spokes, it's rolling down a nice road, and then you hit a little pebble, and obviously the wheel doesn't have the structural integrity to support the weight because it only has three spokes, and then the wheel collapses, and then obviously you fall. That's what happens to agents who only get their business from maybe two or three different sources. And as a result of that, it's not smart to do your business that way. So we always suggest that you have seven to ten proven spokes. The spokes that everyone should start out with are the spokes that require the most skill because your other spokes that you add later won't matter if you don't know how to sell, if you don't know how to convert leads, if you don't know how to present, if you don't know how to take listings, 
even if you're handed a listing lead and you haven't learned the basics, you know, in other words, your job, then it doesn't then matter. Not gonna, it doesn't matter. So that's the premise that we take. So with that in mind, here are some other uh, websites, and these guys provide both buyer and seller leads, but we do not like you guys buying buyer leads, but we are advocates of you paying referral, lead, uh, referral fees for closed transactions. Now, everyone needs to be clear in their head. The only way you're going to last in this business is if you become a listing agent. There is no future in being a buyer's agent, and man, does that piss people off when I say it. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's true. true you, you look at any top producing agent in any market and anywhere in the country, and you're going to find every single time, without exception, they're top producers because they're listing agents. You cannot have a real real estate business with consistent cash flow, consistent opportunity to save, pay down debt, build wealth, until you learn how to be a listing agent. Buying buyer leads is foolish, and it always will be. All right, agentpronto.com, agentmachine.com. Going down my list, going down my list. Again, there are um, no at, monthly fees, no sign-up fees, no yearly fees. You only pay when something actually closes. Zbuyers.com. Now, Zbuyers obviously does listings and buyers. Um, still looking. Some of these others I'm not quite comfortable giving you guys information on yet until I've sorted them out myself. Uh, Boomtown. I've heard good things about them over the years. So those are the main ones. I have a list. We have coaching students. Those of you who are in one of our three coaching programs, we have got a list, I'm guessing, of about 75 different lead generation systems and widgets that we're going to be Don't republishing about Dave to the website. Too. Oh, yeah, there you go. Thank you. Well, you know, the problem with Dave Ramsey is he's hard to get in with. But, yes, Dave Ramsey leads. For and certain a heads up. Appropriate. Yeah, it's, it's true. Dave Ramsey leads. Uh, then there's another lead source that's going to be coming online, too, which is going to mimic Dave Ramsey that is going to be Glenn Beck. And you guys know him as a syndicated uh, radio guy, and also he has he's an author and whatnot. So Dave Ramsey, who is another syndicated radio guy, he has, if you go to DaveRamsey.com, you're going to see on the right-hand section of his uh, site, he's got this uh, section where it's basically the, his local providers, preferred local provider, ELP. Uh, it's on the side. You'll see it. Click on the real estate button, and then it's going to take you, I think you have to click a couple more times. It's going to take you to a section where you can fill out a form and apply to be on the list of someone getting the uh, real estate referrals. Now, I do think there's a $500 fee to get started with those guys and they are territorial, and there's no guarantee you're not going to you're going to get any leads. But if I were in some you know place that's kind of rural that you know Dave Ramsey's on the radio, you probably can get a pretty sweet deal in terms of the number of leads you get, just because not very many other agents are going to know about that program. What's next, Jules? We have a little bit more time. Okay, what's next is for rent by owners. Again, you guys love to complain about no phone numbers. I can never get any phone numbers. Woe is me. For rent by owners, phone number right there on Craigslist, right there in your local newspaper. Very simple script. All you have to do is ask them about the property, build a little bit of rapport, and ask them, you're curious, have they ever considered selling the home versus continuing to try and rent it? They may say, in most cases, they're going to say, well, what could you get me for it? And then you'll say, well, I need to see the home first. I have 6 o'clock available tonight or 7 tomorrow, which is best for you. Pretty easy That's right. call and, on the scale of and how many of those for rent by owners are actually um, not wanting to be landlords, that they think they can't reluctant sell the property. Landlords. Exactly. Right. They're reluctant landlords because they think they might be still underwater, but the reality of it is they're not. All right. So tomorrow on tomorrow's radio show, guys, existing coaching students, you know we just kind of touched on all the lead generation sources. We've got literally dozens of others, so make sure you log into the website and you download the list. Go to the websites when there is one to fill up the application to get the lead sources from that and the other. But remember, at the end of the day, you do have to learn the skills necessary to be a really fantastic salesperson, which is what you are. You are a salesperson. Embrace that and understand that in the world, the highest paid people, without exception, are salespeople. Some of you are going, huh? Is that true? Yes, it's true. The highest paid people in the world are salespeople. Embrace the fact that you're a salesperson. You're somebody who wants properly skilled, will be able to easily and effortlessly help people accomplish their real estate goals, which, guys, that's a pretty amazing thing. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about another very controversial topic, smart teams versus dumb teams. So we're going to be talking uh -huh. about That'll that tomorrow. 
Yes, well, it'll be fun for us. It won't be fun for some of the people that are running dumb teams. But we're going to talk about that on tomorrow's radio show, and you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. This program has been a presentation by Tim and Julie Harris, Real Estate Coaching. For more information on our real estate coaching and training programs, visit our website at timandjulieharris.com. Remember to tune in weekdays at noon for upcoming shows. And until next time, thank you for listening to Real Estate Coaching Radio with Tim and Julie Harris.